So Gagan, since you're a visual storyteller, as Facebook tells me, so I thought I'll record this video for you and, uh, and see if uh, I can get my point across. So when it comes to inference skills, inference skills are not just required for inference questions, which you probably are going to see at the most too, but they're also required for all um, other kinds of questions. So for example, inferring information that's presented in an argument or inferring what information does an answer choice provide. And, and people who do well on the inference module, people who finish the inference module properly, they actually do very well on the other aspects of the course. Um, that's something that we've seen consistently uh, over and over, over and over again and because we capture all of this data. So let me just show that to you. So this is an example of a student who's act, who scored a 750 and you can see his attempts over here. And, and before that, I wanna just show this piece over here where uh, you can see his uh, concept file and application file score. So let me just mark the scores in concept quizzes and, and practice quizzes. But but more often than, more important than that, you know, what you really see is the guy has a good understanding of the impact of uh, words such as only and all. How do you read a statement when, uh, which has words such as some, most, and, and the? How do you visualize multiple statements and, 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 and draw inferences from them? And, and so having a process of visualizing information, drawing inferences by combining information from multiple statements is really, really important. It's critical to, to, to assumption-based questions. And, 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 and when you go over there, uh, and, and when this guy, after finishing the inference module and doing well over here, I mean, these are good scores in, in official quizzes. Practice quizzes, I would have expected him to do better than 80%, but again, these are decent scores, decent score over here. And he did it quite fast, uh, essentially, but he's, where he made a mistake, you can see over here in application file, he spent a lot of time reviewing the solution, so learning from his mistakes. But essentially, once he did that, you can see his scores and, and assumption, evaluate, strengthen, weaken module, they're really, really nice, and as well as boldface. I mean, in each of these 10 files, which I haven't expanded here, he's done really well. Now, similarly, when it comes to scholaranium, uh, what you see over here is, uh, I have his uh, uh, inference trend plot, let me just put, uh, point this out over here, make it in the edit mode. You can really see the moment the guy started giving ability quizzes, he was a really nice, I mean, the guy gave eight ability quizzes, but really, really good ability scores. His accuracy in hard questions was high. Why? Because again, he had the right skill to, to infer and then he built a pre-thinking skill and so on and so forth. And the same thing showed up in his mock test attempts as well, where if you go to on his latest mock test attempt, this is the Sigma X mock. What you can really see is on critical reasoning, he was at a very, I mean, sentence correction, really great 97 percentile, but, but on critical reasoning, essentially, really, really good score as well um, uh, that, that you can really see. And this is, you know, the, the V41 is, is very similar to what he got on, on the actual team. I think he got a V42 uh, a couple of days after this. So, so again, coming back to, to answering your question, um, Inference skills, really, really important, very important core skill. It's something that you should not skip. I understand you wanna, uh, uh, you wanna probably do assumptions because the pre-thinking webinar is in a couple of days, but again, go through the inference module diligently and then move on to assumptions. That's what I would recommend. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, do write to me at rajat.e-gmat.com if uh, you still have any questions or concerns. And, and uh, one of our GMAT strategy experts can help address any other concerns that you have. Good luck for, uh, for, for your stage three learning. I think you're in the SC part. That's where you wanna get into stage three and then I hope to see you move over to critical reasoning.